Protests erupted throughout the Islamic world after the public burning of a Quran in Sweden last month. Prime Minister Ulf Christensen said while the burning was deeply disrespectful, it was protected under freedom of expression. The Islamic State terror group on social media has called for revenge attacks on Christians worldwide. The Muslim holy month of Ramadan begins March 23rd, and last year's observance saw 42 ISIS terror attacks in just three days. The threat of ISIS has returned, and Western intelligence agencies are on the lookout for any signs of a terrorist attack. Security expert Eric Karen says that in the Middle East and Asia, ISIS never went away. They have approximately 16,000 fighters between Iraq and Syria. They control six million people in that region. Uh, they have franchises throughout the world. Uh, we're talking probably around 25 franchises throughout Africa and Europe and here in America. A recent United Nations report also shows the ISIS threat increasing. Terrorism expert Sargis Sengeri says while the U.S. had to defeat ISIS on the battlefield, that alone wasn't enough to stop the movement. You have to kill folks on the battlefield uh, to take ground. You have to do that. But I don't think we ever fought against the ideology that really resonates between the six inches of uh, people's foreheads. So it will continue to fight and it will continue to take territory. It will continue to force individuals to either convert or basically, you know, die in the process. Tina Ramirez with the humanitarian group Hardwired Global calls the resurgence of ISIS a nightmare for both Christians and Muslims in the Middle East. ISIS used to hold court in the ancient churches in the city of Mosul and sentence Muslims, Christians, others to death to having their hands or legs chopped off and then the women, thousands of women that we know who've been sexually enslaved. So the, the trauma that the entire community went through was horrific. ISIS is encouraging Muslims to use any method to kill Westerners, including trucks and nail guns. Karen believes the U.S. could be very vulnerable to a major terrorist attack. On the southern border, the northern border is wide open. We know that there's over 55 million shipping containers that come into America. Less than 2% are, are examined. We need to take the gloves off and understand that this threat's not going away. It's only increased in the last few years. The idea that they don't want to attack us again, like a 9-11, but even bigger, is foolish. They want to destroy America. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, it's been the fundamental problem on the war on terror is that how do you have declare war on a, a tactic? Terrorism is a tactic. But it's a tactic based on an ideology. And that ide ideology runs deep. When you have terrorists kill Israelis and then the police of the Palestinian Authority hand out sweets to motorists in celebration of their, quote, victory, close quote, you get an understanding of how deep this goes. With ISIS, it's, well, how good of a Muslim are you? And if you don't measure up to our version of Islam, well, then we're entitled to kill you. If you're an infidel, uh, death is, is the easy way out, but more likely we're going to enslave all your women and treat them however we want, and we'll kill all your men. This is a war of ideas, and we're not really engaging in that. We're, we just, we find it so abhorrent to think that somebody actually thinks this way. We're, but we're not engaging it. We're not standing up for women's rights in the Muslim world. We're not standing up for the rights of all faiths to live together in peace and in harmony. It's happened before. Uh, in Lebanon, before 1972, it was considered the jewel of the Mediterranean, a place where you could have all faiths come together, live in peace, and have a wonderful culture and a wonderful society. They got radicalized when the Palestinians moved in, and they've been at war ever since, and war with themselves. How do we bring peace? Well, it's the Prince of Peace we need to bring. We need to preach that this is the much better way to live, and let's show that in everything that we